Councillor Goldman. Uh, thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, I'm pleased the Liberal Democrat amendment to increase the level of funding in line with inflation has been accepted by the uh, Labour group and incorporated into the motion. Uh, we made it clear that without increasing the amount of funding provided, we would effectively be cutting the money for food for children. A study came out late last year that showed 27% of children in this region are living in poverty. That's over one in four children living in poverty on our watch. So let's be clear, these are children who are going hungry, children who go to school every morning with nothing in their tummies, children whose chances in life are vastly diminished by poverty, whose attainment at school is likely to be far below that of their peers because they are hungry. And the motion tries to do something about that, which is why the Conservative amendment is so appalling. In a motion about feeding hungry children, the Conservatives give themselves a clap for helping adults. In a motion about feeding hungry children, the Conservatives slap themselves on the back for helping pensioners. In a motion about feeding hungry children, the Conservatives, the conservatives congratulate themselves on providing washing machines. While I'm sure these are all worthy issues and worthy causes, I would remind Council that this is a motion about feeding hungry children. It seems the Conservatives never missed the opportunity to obfuscate and duck responsibility for the issue at hand. And let's be clear, the motion doesn't ask the Council to spend more money, it's asking Council to write a letter. That's it, nothing else, hardly an onerous task, and the Conservatives can't even be bothered to do that. So much for doing everything they can for everyone in Essex, and so much for levelling up. The leader said earlier that he has the power of persuasion, and yet he won't even write her a letter asking for money for hungry children. Perhaps he isn't so confident of his powers of persuasion after all. Except when it comes to councillor allowances, of course, where I expect the Conservatives to vote later to give themselves an additional 34,860. There's always time and resources for that, it seems. But the motion simply asked the council um, to request that free school meals be extended to all those families who receive universal credit, which is much simpler than the vast array of individual small schemes that the Conservative administration seems so proud of. The Conservative amendment says that support should be targeted at those families with the greatest need, while removing the call for free school meals for those on universal credit. So maybe they don't believe that people on universal credit are in need. Uh, Mr Chairman, all members of this council have a choice and the chance to do the right thing. I'll leave members with this thought. A society that fails to do everything it can to look after its children is barely a society at all. The Conservative leader of the council said earlier, I will do all I can, the best I can to ensure no one is left behind. Well, prove it. Please vote against the shameful amendment that allows children to go hungry and vote for the motion. Thank you, Councillor Goldman.